This is a rather neat device I just received today. It's a Matek USB power monitor. And instead of just being a standard USB power monitor that displays voltage and current, this one's quite clever. I'll just plug it into this um, power supply. I'll plug it in here. And I'll plug it in to charge this power bank. And you'll see it's displaying the voltage. And it's displaying that it's currently and you heard it beep there, it's just started a charge cycle. So it's displaying 180 milliamps. It's displaying that the power being drawn by this, the charging of this is um, approximately 0.8 watts. It's showing the milliamp hour um, amount of energy that's gone into the battery, which is currently zero, it's just gone up to one. Um, and it will show the total milliamp hour. Now, if it's the reason, I, I couldn't work out why it had the total milliamp power versus the standard milliamp power. And the answer is that if you unplug a load from it, it terminates that set of readings um, and resets. And if you want to actually know, if you were charging something maybe, and you took it away and then you plugged it back in again, you can, by going to the total milliamp power reading, which doesn't reset when you unplug it, um, it will actually show you how much energy was put into this device. If you unplug the unit completely from its power source, it forgets everything though. Now, at the moment, um, it's uh, charging this. Now, let's see what's uh, happening here. Oh, it's got a timer as well, which shows the elapsed time. Yep, charging away. Now, one of the interesting features about this is that when your appliance stops charging, instead of just keeping the voltage there and risking that maybe it's just going to keep trickling through cheap circuitry and damaging the lithium battery by progressively just keeping charging it up to the very hilt. Um, what this does is when it gets to the end of a charge and the current drops below a certain threshold that you can set, it will actually, the blue LED will turn off and it will just kill power completely to this. And it's completely dead. If you plug anything else in, it won't actually start again until you press the button to reset it. And that means that it kind of protects things from being potentially overcharged, um, which is quite neat. It also has over voltage and under voltage protection. It will sound the alarm and cut the power off to the load if um, the voltage is non-compliant non with the standard. Now, the initially I couldn't work out why it had a function for setting um, end level adjustment, the end level setting. And what that is, you can set it to sense when the end of charge current is either 10 milliamp, 20 milliamp, 30, 40, 60, or you can set it off and the default value is 30. And what that means is that at the moment it's set to terminate at 30 milliamps, and that means that when this unit stops drawing um, current and the, the current progressively drops down, it may still be drawing small amounts of current because things like LEDs or circuitry is active, but um, as soon as it drops below the 30 milliamp threshold, it'll realise that that's the, the unit is fully charged and it will terminate it. But supposing you had a unit that uh, had quite a lot of active circuitry in it from the charge side and it drew more than 30 milliamps, that's why you can adjust that setting up to 40, 60 or you can just disable it. But in most instances, the default 30 milliamp setting for the termination charge is, is quite a good one. Other features, uh, let me think, um, I think that's more or less it, isn't it? That covers just about everything. Um, oh, one really interesting thing. What, this is charging um, and it shows uh, the milliamp hour rating. That means that it's going to be quite good for actually determining the capacity of these battery banks if you get one that's completely flat and you charge it up fully until it terminates because... <coughs> It will indicate how much current has gone into the cell, uh, the milliamp hour, uh, will, a tally will be kept. And lithium batteries are, and I didn't know this today, I just found this out today while doing a little bit of research, they are actually between 97 to 99% efficient at storing power. Unlike, say, nickel metal hydride cells that some energy is dissipated as heat from them while they charge, um, the lithium batteries are super efficient. You virtually get 100% out of the energy you put in. So um, the fact that this can display the um, total milliamp hour input is actually, it's quite useful actually. Um,
I've tested it in another unit, um, which, well, I've tested it in several units, but unfortunately they weren't fully discharged. So what I've done tonight is I've fully discharged another pack, the pink one, and we'll fully charge that tonight and see just how much energy went into it, because that will give a good indication of the capacity of the 18650 cell. Now, I was secretly hoping that this was going to terminate uh, the charge, but it's not going to do it in a hurry. So what actually happens when this stops um, drawing current is that after a while, the unit will beep. It's detected the current stopped, and it beeps several times and displays end. And that uh, lets you know that your unit is completely charged. Um, it's also quite handy that it beeps because then you can go through and start charging another item. So you know what? This is a very useful little unit. I like it. It's very functional.